To have a professional vinyl wrap your ride, it will cost anywhere from $2,000 to $3,000. I did it for $300. I know that's going to excite a lot of people, but if you're an adventurer like me and you go overlanding and car based camping, then you might want to splurge on some more expensive film. Pinstripes, they're inevitable. And I had this theory that vinyl film might actually be more scratch resistant and easier to maintain. So I tested out this theory for all my fellow overlanders. I won't be going into detail about how to vinyl wrap your ride. There's many videos about that already. But I do have some cost saving tips for you. Things that you won't see in other vinyl wrap videos. My goal here is to do this on the cheap. I'm trying to vinyl wrap my ride for $300. Professional vinyl wrappers are trying to save time, not film. The more work they could do, the more money they make. Before you set out to do this project, it's important to know that this is going to be hard and time consuming. And you need to be confident and patient. If you easily get flustered and give up, I do not recommend you try to do this project. You can see here that this film is pretty creased up and it's not looking good, but I never give up hope. I try and try and things are actually starting to look a lot better. Look at that. I pretty much recovered. I totally averted disaster. I had a really tough time to begin with on this piece of vinyl wrap because I tried to do something that uh, I wasn't used to, but I was able to recover. Now for some helpful tips. Have the right tools. I purchased this vinyl wrap toolkit for $9 on Amazon. You need to make sure you have a squeegee and an edge tool. Tip number two, do the job out in the sun. The sun makes the film more pliable and easier to work with. If it's cold where you're located, then get a heat gun. So this took me only 10 minutes to do. Came out real clean. A lot better than uh, the other one. If you're wondering why I'm dressed like this, it's because uh, I sprayed my clothes with permethrin and uh, keeps the mosquitoes away if they choose to suck my blood they die so anyways just want to show you this this is going to be the hardest part one of the harder parts about a wrap job you can use the finger to gently work it down like that start from the outside it's my first time doing it i'm not a pro so uh, got some air bubbles right there Tip three, have a steady hand. It really helps to have a steady hand. All the reason to not do crack cocaine, because then your hands shake. Tip four, get the vinyl wrap to stick on the edges, otherwise it will lift. I didn't get any good footage, but you'll want to use this dark blue tool called a edge tool. Pull this film over like so, and then you want to pinch it right here. Pinch it, go up and down. There's a crease right here, and that's where you're gonna to want to cut. Right here. Make your cut, and we just cut across so you can see what I'm doing. Right 
This is what I learned off of YouTube. There you go. Let's back up a little bit. How much film do we need? It's really going to depend on the vehicle that you have. A vinyl wrap comes in heights of 5 feet or 60 inches. And then you determine how much length you need. The professionals want to finish the vinyl wrap job as quickly as possible. So they'll just take the roll and slap it on their vehicle. If you're an overlander like myself, you'll probably want to spend as little money as possible because you know that there's a good chance this vinyl wrap could get ruined by pinstriping. To save money, you need to be efficient with the use of vinyl wrap film. I recommend that you outline all the panels and pre-cut. This stuff I'm using is called builder's paper. You can pick it up at any home improvement store like Home Depot or Lowe's. And then I use a crayon to mark off the door panels. I'm just using pressure to sketch out the door. Here's the body panels that I outlined. I'm actually prepping to vinyl wrap my passport for the second time. The original vinyl wrap just wasn't as scratch resistant as I thought it would be. Uh, definitely better than my original paint, but I'm going to be replacing this with rugged vinyl wrap. I wish I knew about this stuff from the start. If you drive a smaller vehicle that's not as prone to pinstriping, then maybe this lower cost vinyl wrap will work for you. Now, one thing I did prove is that you could maintain vinyl wrap better than a paint job, an OEM paint job. Before, after, check that out. Pretty awesome, right? Before and after. Another thing I wanted to mention is that even if this vinyl wrap does get scratched up, it will protect your original paint. So if you're getting into overlanding, you might want to just vinyl wrap your car right off the bat. Protect your paint and your resale value. All for $300. At this point, the Gooby gun is so effective. I just have to run my finger through like that, just use pressure. Stuff just falls right off like butter. Look at that. Normal vinyl wrap is susceptible to pinstriping. This is 3M 280 film. There is a film called Avery Denisid Rugged Wrap. This is more resilient to pinstriping. Okay, it's a nice fun sandy road. The new vinyl wrap is definitely taking some pinstripes. Uh, we'll see if they get through and actually show. vinyl wrap <laughs> it's been two months and my Avery Denison marsh green vinyl wrap has been taking a beating this is a similar time frame to my 3m set in black vinyl wrap that ran for two and a half months the rugged vinyl wrap isn't very pinstriped as you can see here after I washed my car there isn't any noticeable imperfections now this film is twice as expensive. I bought a 41 foot roll for $600. This is twice the cost of the 3M 280 film. But if you're an overlander, if you're driving out there and getting pinstriped, it's worth it. Now this is just after I washed my car. I'm drying it off, it's still a little damp. Now check this out. Now that the film is dry, you could see, it's hard to see, but you could see a line, a pinstripe. Not very noticeable, but it's there. So we couldn't see it when the vinyl wrap was wet, but you could see it when it's dry. 
not nearly as noticeable as the regular Final Wrap. One thing about creating content for YouTube is people will send me stuff. So this company called Shine Armor sent me this package for ceramic spray and we're gonna use it on these scratches. Okay, then we have the product called Shine Armor. Waterless wash, shine and protect. I think it, uh, it has ceramic, so right there the ultimate ceramic coating formula. All right, um, I think at the car wash I proved that if you keep this looking wet, just wet, then you won't see the scratches. We just got a few scratches right here that you can hardly see. There you go, it's really hard to see them. There here it is. There it is. Okay, now that it looks wet, the scratch is not visible anymore, hardly visible. So to conclude, I theorized that vinyl wrap would be easier to work with, easier to maintain, and I proved that, right? But only with the Avery Dennison rugged vinyl wrap. For you people that don't take your car through terrain that will pinstripe your vehicle, the $300 vinyl wrap will work for you. Actually, for smaller vehicles, the $300 vinyl wrap will work for you. But for the larger vehicles like the mid-size Hondas, Ford Explorer, Ford F-150, Toyota Tundra, Chevy Silverado, Toyota Land Cruiser, these large vehicles are guaranteed to get pinstriped and I think it's a good investment to spend the $600 on the film to not only protect your vehicle's OEM paint job, but to make it look awesome and pinstripe resistant. So I hope you found this video useful. Uh, if you have a friend or family member that might benefit from this information, please share this video with them. And if you haven't already, please consider subscribing and hitting the bell. So that's all the time we have for this episode. I'll catch you on the next adventure.